ecological tipping point for an abundant future. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 166. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 166, May 29, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 25% of the written content for the information lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purposes this lesson plan purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of information is now 25% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the first 25% of the written part of the humility lesson plan. We also completed the first 25% of the mind map for the courage lesson plan, bringing that to 25% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week in Highest Good Food, the core team continued working on the renders for the tropical atrium that is the center of the Earth Bag Village, Pod 1. Here you can see an incomplete render looking down and south. We're still working on the colors and textures for this one. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also created this composite image from the core team's renders from last week. This updated render now includes the rest of the plants and trees from the Tropical Atrium Planting and Harvesting page, as well as a diversity of outdoor plants. Shadi then finished this new image for the tree aspects of the Tropical Atrium Planting and Harvesting plan, adding more details to show the layering of these trees and how this has been done to maximize sunlight availability for all of them. The next step is for us to add the content and upload them to the site. As part of the development of our Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan, which features contributions from naturopathic Dr. Matt Martorano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health, this week the core team modified the calculations for quantities for our food bars and began adding the food bar plans to our website. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers, Foundations, and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we're developing. This week, we did another review of Section 10, Stem Wall and Dome Construction, and added narratives along with three additional steps due to a change in the 6 and 12 mil polyethylene extension from atop the 8th earth bag course to atop the 9th earth bag course. This will allow the 9th earth bag course to serve as a backlash for the French drain gutter from rain off the dome. We'd say we are now 83% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also continued evolving the renders for the Straw Bale Village, Pod 2. 
What you see here is an updated render of the outdoor dining and social space and an updated render of the community gym. Additionally, Zachary Moline, graphic designer, continued updating the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book created by last year's intern team. What you see here is Zachary's process of redoing the service design page and all of the pages of associated personas. Also working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7, Jessica Rohrbach, architectural drafter, designer, and 3D modeler, started designing fire escape options and working on the communal bathroom and shower floor plan options for this village. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 21 of this work that continued with what you see here, creating more high quality render plants and trees like those we'll be growing on the property. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team began working on the first renders of the natural pool and spa area aspects of the Duplical City Center. Here are three of the perspectives we are developing. Hayes Lay, structural engineering student, also began working on load calculations and updating the city center structural details you can see here. And Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, studied the area calculations completed by last year's intern team for room lighting and began calculations for number of lamps for the rooms as seen here. Iris Sue, industrial designer, also continued exploring recycled pipe shelving options for the Duplical City Center Library. What you see here is round seven of this work, appropriately adjusting the shelves to only occupy the lower seven feet of the 13 foot walls in this room, and then exploring more designs along with ways to fill the space above the shelving. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, automated systems developer and business systems consultant, and Lucas Tasui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, started testing the control system's microcontroller input. Here is a picture from the weekly development call. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week in highest good society, Jonathan DeSentis, graphic designer and web developer, finished development of our highest good network logo as shown here. The next step is trademarking of this logo. Steven Peslowski, graphic designer, also created version 2 of our open source copyrights, trademarks, and patenting page icons, along with the first set of new icons associated with the food, self-sufficiency, plan, and page. One community believes in an ecological tipping point for an abundant future. What this means is we believe that there is a sustainable model of living that will achieve an abundant future for all people on this planet. And so one community's focus, our nonprofit goal, is to create that. We believe that if we can make sustainable living easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own and can ultimately lead to a world that works for everyone. That would be the ecological tipping point for an abundant future, the point where enough people are participating in sustainable living practices that it sufficiently provides a sustainable environment for all people. Everybody doesn't have to participate, just enough. And so that would be the tipping point. And so one community is creating an evolution of sustainability to achieve exactly that. We're taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which everybody's familiar with, food, energy, and housing, and we're combining them with what we've identified as the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are highest good education, fulfilled living practices, highest good economics, and true earth stewardship. We're putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability to demonstrate a way of living that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now, built on this sustainable platform. So to achieve the ecological tipping point for an abundant future for all, we want to demonstrate a, a, a sustainable living model that's easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough that it'll spread on its own. And so one community is designed to be the first of many thousands of open source and free shared teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. Solution models specifically designed to teach others how to create solution models too. Put together so that every 
one community type of hub or every solution hub that somebody visits, if they like, well, not every, but the ones that are open source and free shared like one community, if people visit that and they like what they see, they can take it and replicate it somewhere else, put their own spin on it, their own values applied to it, change it, make it different, make it better. Constantly improving and creating a global collaboration and cooperation of people working together to create open source, ecological and sustainable solutions. This is what we're doing. This is what we're up to. We're bringing together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all to put all these things together and create them so that they can be replicated either as individual components or as a complete teacher demonstration hub that one community will be so that when people visit it, they can take what they like, leave what they don't like, but everything will be open source, free shared, and replicable so that people can spread highest good of living concepts and ideas in the way that works best for them. Or they can just take them and use them for their own reason. Either way, we're moving in the right direction. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, we've got lots of different ways to participate. Of course, the easiest way to participate would be through social media, just sharing our information through social media. We are on all the different social media networks, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Pinterest, Reddit, Facebook, Sue, all the different, Twitter, all the different social media outlets make it as easy as possible because before we can reach the ecological tipping point for an abundant future, we ultimately need to reach the ecological tipping point for our organization to get the information out there so that enough people are participating so that our ecological ideas, our sustainable blueprints, our open source designs can become complete enough so that more that so that everybody who wants access to what it is that we're creating has what they need to replicate, to modify, to adapt it. And we call this open source project launch blueprinting because we're not just open sourcing everything that we do. We are open sourcing it in a format that specifically can be used to launch additional projects that could be completely different than ours. This is what One Community is creating. This is what we're doing. And we invite you to participate. There's lots of different ways to do this, as I already said. Of course, the easiest way also, if you want to participate, well, not the easiest way, but another thing that's helpful, and we always like to say thank you, is thanks for small donations. None of One Community's volunteers, none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. We're 100% volunteer unpaid staff, including myself. So thank you for the small, uh, small donations. Of course, uh, we're still looking for large-scale funding as well, so if you or somebody you know would be interested in investing in one community or donating to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, you know, the idea of an ecological tipping point for an abundant future is quite an undertaking, and the next big step for our organization is getting the property that we've been working with for over five years now off the market so that we can disclose the location, so we can start doing all the open source details related to actually working on the property, take everything to the next level. This is what one community is creating. This is what we're doing. Every week, I like to invite people to participate. I like to say thanks for all the small donations. I like to say thanks for following our project, for watching all the way to the end here. Uh, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.